All right, and now let's take a look at the good use case where we need to use function approach. And for that, for now, I'm just going to remove this one. We'll set everything from scratch. And let's imagine that we want to invoke the functionality in some time. And for that, we are going to use the set time on. And essentially, if you just pass here the set time on, you'll see that the functionality won't work as expected. So let's try this one out. I'm going to navigate back, let's say set time on. So now, effectively, I want to change that value in some time, let's say three seconds. As we know, we need to pass here the callback function first, and then the second in how long, like I said, in my example, it's going to be three seconds. And then let's simply go with set value. And then let's type value plus one. Now, what is our expectation? First of all, well, our expectation is that every time we will click the button, let's say five times, this is going to be invoked. So set timeout is going to be invoked. And then after three seconds, we're going to get that latest value plus one. So if I clicked five times, my expectation is that I'm going to see over here, value five, correct? Are we on the same page? Hopefully we are. So let's refresh and one, two, three, four, five. And the value did change in three seconds, but it's definitely not five. And I can click all day long and the same thing is going to happen. And if you don't believe me, we can set up a log over here. Otherwise, you might be thinking, okay, he's just not clicking the button. So click the button. Let's try one more time. Apologies if you find this annoying. One, two, three, four, five. And I should see over here five. Yep. So this is correct. I did click it five times. But again, the value does not change. Now, why is that happening? Well, you see, in our callback function, when we invoke set value, we're not grabbing the latest value. We are grabbing the value that is within these three seconds. So essentially what I'm saying, let's imagine that I'm going to click the button 100 times in those three seconds. All of them will reference this value of zero. And only once we switch, then the value is going to become two. So again, regardless of how many times I click, I'm not updating that value right away or here. I'm just saying, yep, please update that value. But I'm all the time using that old value. Hopefully that is clear. Again, you can click five more times or six or whatever. Again, if that happened within those three seconds, it's all the time going to be using the value right before we invoke the callback function first time. Hopefully that is clear. Now, what is the solution? Now we know how we can use the function approach, right? So we can pass in the function again, we have access right now to the latest the current state value, which by the way, will increase as we're clicking on a button. And then we just return the new state value. So in this case, I'm going to say current and state. And we want to go with return. And let's go with current state plus one. And now you'll see that our functionality works. Where essentially, again, if I refresh, and if I click whatever times, in those three seconds, I'll nicely increase the state value by the amount of times I clicked on a button. Hopefully it's clear. We're pretty much done with use state. And we are ready to move on to our next topic.